King Nicholas of Melbourne had three sons. John, Joel and Cooper. As he grew older, he realized who he would hand over his kingdom to. Then he called his three sons and said, See, I am getting old. I will leave the burden of this kingdom in the hands of one of you. But you all must give the test who deserves to be in that position. What test? I will give you one year of time. You have to earn money by hiding your identity completely. You will have to work hard and earn your livelihood. The one who will do this job properly, I will give him the responsibility of this entire kingdom. Next day, they leave the kingdom with a very normal attire. The elder prince, John, came walking to a village. He is resting under a tree. When a man came and asked him, Who are you? What are you doing here? I am looking for work. Looking for work? Okay, come with me. The man took him to a big house. That was the house of the village chief who put him in charge of tending his garden. On the other hand, second prince Joel went to a town in the afternoon. There, he was wandering around a market, looking at everything, when someone called him and asked, Hello, who are you? I have never seen you in this city before. I am looking for work. Do you have any work for me? Of course you will get. Would you like to work in a shop? Yes, I will. Well, I have a shop in this market where you will work from today. Joel got a job in a grocery store. Little brother Cooper arrived at dusk in a deep forest. He thought that he would find a village only after crossing the field. He assumed there is a farmer's house where he spends the night and goes out again the next day in search of work. But he arrived in a forest. It would be night to cross the field and he decided to spend the night climbing a tree. At such a time when he saw a banyan tree and thought that he would spend the night sitting on the branch of that tree. Suddenly, Someone said in a thin voice, Hey mister, why are you here? Who, who spoke? What happened? You can't see me? I am here, under the tree. Now Cooper looked closely and saw a white furry cat in the bark at the base of the banyan tree. The cat is sitting talking to him right now. Cooper wonders, cats can talk too? Yes, I can talk. But why are you here in this forest at night? Cooper then tells her everything openly. Hmm. What will you do now? I see, it's already night today. Tomorrow morning, I will go out again. I hope I can get some work done tomorrow. If I give you work, then? <laughs> you? What will you do for me? You will see for yourself. Well, I do whatever you say. By that time, the cat jumped out of the cage. Okay, come with me. 
You must not have eaten anything all day. Come with me to my house. Cooper was surprised thinking, cat's house? Where it can be? They went deeper into the forest. The cat stopped in front of a huge palace. Immediately, the gate opened. Four cat raised its front legs and bowed to the cat. The cat said, This is our new friend. He will stay here from today. Respect him just the way you respect me. Well, what is your name? My name is Cooper. Cooper gave his name, but did not reveal his true identity. Okay, from today I'll call you by that name. The cat went inside. And the four cats brought him to a very big room. There, they all said to him. There are clean clothes in the cupboard. You will be ready after bathing and wearing those clean clothes. I have orders to take you to the queen. Queen? Yes. The one who sheltered you is our queen. Cooper was surprised. After that, he entered the bathroom and took a bath and got ready in new clothes. After that, the cats took Cooper into a large hall. There sits the cat queen on a beautifully crafted throne. Cooper was allowed to sit on a small throne next to the queen. Suddenly, the cat queen said, Cooper, are you getting very hungry? I should have understood. Let's go, let's go. They all got up from there and entered the dining room. On the table, there are various delicious dishes arranged in gold plates and glasses. Cooper sat at the table and started eating everything rapidly. After eating, he said goodbye to the cat and went to his room and lied down on the bed. Sleep came over his eyes. Sleep came over his eyes. The next morning, the cats could not wake Cooper up. Finally, a cat nuzzles Cooper's nose with his tail. And he sits up with a hunk. Cooper wakes up and washes his hands and face and goes to meet the cat queen. After having the breakfast, Cooper went with the queen to see the palace garden. At one end of the garden, there's a beautiful pond. Behind him lies a vast land. Cooper said to the Cat Queen, Why did you leave so much land? Who will cultivate? Where are my workers? If you agree on this, I can get to work on your land. I have no objection. If you want to cultivate with love, I'm not going to stop you. Cooper started farming from the next day. Within a few months, paddy, vegetables grew on the land. The shell was filled with crops. On the other hand, Cooper's two brothers, John and Joel, earned a lot of money by doing their jobs well. Meanwhile, the Cat Queen was also very happy with Cooper's work. One day, she said, The way you cultivate it, you have filled my shells. There will never be a famine in our country. But meanwhile, that one year is coming to an end. What? Tomorrow is the last day of the year. But what about the money I have earned? 
when i have promised you i will definitely give you now you leave and proceed to your home cooper did not sleep all night the next morning he woke up changed his clothes said goodbye to the cat queen and traveled home he walked all day and reached his house in the evening when he came home he saw that his other two brothers had reached home cooper went home together to his father john and joel handed over all the money they earned to king The king asked them, "John, what work did you do this whole year?" "I worked as a gardener in the house of a village chief." "Joel, you, what did you do in the whole year?" "I was in a city. There, I worked for a shopkeeper." "Cooper, where have you been for a year?" "I was in the forest." "In the forest?" What did you do over there? There I met a cat queen. I stayed near her and cultivated her land. She promised me that when the right time comes, all my earnings will be given to me. John and Joel burst out laughing at Cooper's words. I have never seen a fool like you. Do you think I am as stupid as you? How could you ever think I'll believe you? From today, you will look after the horses in my stable. From the next morning onwards, Cooper starts looking after the stable horses. Meanwhile, a soldier comes to the meeting hall and informs, "Your Majesty, a beautiful horse-drawn carriage has come and stopped in front of the palace, accompanied by four soldiers." Okay then bring them to the palace along with the soldier two other soldiers put down two bags full of gold coins and the other two various fruits and vegetables in front of the king the king was surprised to see so much whose are these at that time a beautiful princess entered the palace the princess bowed to the king and said These are yours. Cooper has sent. Cooper sent? What do you mean? Yes. Why? He didn't tell you anything? Yes. Uh, yes, yes. He he said. He said he went to the forest where he met a cat queen. And he cultivated on her land. He said the cat queen will give him all his hard earned earnings i am the cat queen well where is cooper he is doing all the housework i got angry thinking he lied and deprived him of everything he is now working at the stables i told him to take care of my horses entering the stables she saw that the cooper was collecting the paddy straw cut from the land princess asked cooper can you recognize me what no don't you remember your cat queen why not she is a very good friend of mine but you are not her i am the cat queen all my kingdom was turned into cats by the curse of a witch It is said that if a person is with us in love we will be free from the curse. You were with us for a year in love. So we are free from the curse today. How can I forget you? My earnings? <laughs> come out and see for yourself. But how come you get to know my true identity? When you were leaving my kingdom After that one of my men followed you to your kingdom and told me everything. Cooper came out and was surprised to see fruits, vegetables and two bags full of gold coins. King comes close to Cooper 
and apologized. Forgive me, Cooper. All the responsibilities of this kingdom are yours, and and you too, you too, will help Cooper run the kingdom as ministers and generals. Hearing the king's decision, John and Joel's faces turned pale. They lost all their smiles. Cooper has no need for this property because I came to take Cooper. You should divide that property between your remaining sons. Then, the princes and the Cooper set off on that horse-drawn carriage. Going there, Cooper was surprised to see where the forest was. There is no more forest. Instead, there's a palace in a beautiful kingdom. And all the cats have become human. The horse carriage rushed through the city and arrived in front of a vast royal palace. A few days later, Cooper got married to the cat queen. Hey, thanks for watching. Subscribe the channel and click on the bell icon for upcoming videos.